Good afternoon, Storm Surge LLC, lead forecaster Dean Davidson here with the latest information on the weather going on. We do have three thunderstorm warnings morning starting to pop up in the greater Roanoke Valley, but we're going to spread out across the East Coast. But we have a three thunderstorm warning moving towards the Roanoke City area. We have a storm moving from the northeast to the southwest and an lateral movement. And this will continue over the afternoon with the heating of the day in the 90s. Heat warnings and heat of water across the whole eastern United States. As you can see, lots of heat, warning heat rises. This high pressure sitting here is, dr is driving, it was driving storms down the mountains with some uh, or a graphic lift, but the heat's going to remain in the 90s for the rest of the day week. Into the beginning of our next week before we get cool down, but until then, we're going to be dealing with excessive heat. We'll go a little further closer and take a look at some temperatures around the area. As you see on the greater east coast, the temperatures today, 96 in Philadelphia, 95 out in Lancaster, 90, 98 in the D.C. area, 97 in Richmond, 94 in Roanoke, 93 along the coast in Norfolk, and the heat all up in the Harper in Boston, and all up in through Syracuse where you got 92 degrees, so it's very hot in the mood. You're going to see the next couple of days and we're just going to go through here. What we're going to see, 97 tomorrow, 96 in Lancaster, 90 in Roanoke. So it's a little cooler down here than it is in Philly. Um, 97 in Richmond. That's going to be one of the hottest spots in the greater Virginia area. 98 in D.C. We may even crack 100 in some locations along the East Coast, including just south of Boston. There's a possibility in Rhode Island of 100 degrees in Providence. And we move into Friday. 95 in Charlottesville, 95 in Richmond, 96, the relentless heat wave continues in Philadelphia, up through Boston, 94, all the way up to Syracuse in the 90s again, so like I said, we're going into the weekend now, and we're going to go into the weekend, and what do we see, a little bit of, I mean a little bit, not much, still going to have the heat on Saturday, 92 in New York City, 93 in Philly, we're not even, we may crack 90 in Roanoke to make it a four-day heat wave, maybe, maybe not. But we're going to look up in Boston, we have 89 degrees. in Albany, Syracuse, definitely cooler. 81 in Syracuse, we go on Sunday, and that's where we're going to stop this. With the temperatures to cool down a little bit. 84, especially down towards like the Roanoke region, in the Appalachian, 84 Roanoke. 69 up near Princeton, West Virginia. Uh, Princeton, uh, well, nice. Lewisburg, um, 86 in D.C., 87 in Philly, 77 in Syracuse, so some cooler and drier air will move in. It won't be as drastically hot come the, the day on Monday where we're all in the 80s, and some of them just approaching 80 in some locations. So by Monday, we will break the heat wave, and we'll be back cooler. We have to worry about the possibility of thunderstorms each and every afternoon. Like, so we got to watch this. This is an M no scale discussion. Where's thing possible? Watch me go in Virginia, North Carolina, down through Georgia. Watch out locations in the East Coast. So I'm going to over for the chance of a damaging wind threat coming by Sunday. And that probably will go down a little further towards Carolina also. So the whole East Coast needs to be paying attention. The Storm Center Center already has the outlying area for Philadelphia and Central Pennsylvania up through Boston with damaging winds being the main threat. Isolated tornadoes also, but damaging winds being the main threat. We may have some uh, squall lines developing. So for the forecast. So the forecast looks like this, starting this afternoon. Thunderstorms, 95 degrees. 73 tonight. 92 Thursday, with 30% chance thunderstorms in the afternoon. 91 all Friday, with chance thunderstorms. Saturday, 90, with a chance of thunderstorms. Then we break the heat wave on Sunday with 85. That's when we have the chance of getting that wind damage and storm from that. The prediction center has been outlined. So, keep cool, drink lots of water, and stay safe. Dean D. Davidson, Storm Church LLC, liveweatherblocks.com. Make sure you go there to get the latest weather information. Have a great afternoon.